Hi, I'm Tony. Painting is a fast, fun, relatively inexpensive way to give any room a whole new look. But choosing the best paint for your project involves much more than just picking a color. There's also the question of which sheen or gloss level to use. In the next few minutes, we'll share some tips to help you choose an appropriate sheen for your next paint project. The most commonly available paint sheens, from least to most reflective, are flat, eggshell, satin, semi-gloss, and gloss. Choosing the best sheen for your project is partly a matter of personal preference, but there are other factors to consider too, such as traffic and moisture levels, cleaning and surface imperfections. As a general rule, higher sheens offer higher durability, cleanability and moisture resistance, while lower sheens are better at concealing flaws and tend to be easier to touch up. Flat paints have a non-reflective finish and are great for low traffic areas and for walls that aren't quite perfect. Flat is a popular sheen for ceilings, bedrooms, closets, living rooms, and dining rooms. While traditional flat paints may not hold up so well if you try to scrub them, many manufacturers now offer washable flat finishes that will better tolerate cleaning. With a flat finish, it's easy to touch up scratches or marks that can't be washed off. To make touch-ups more convenient, you may want to keep a little extra paint on hand. Eggshell and satin are low sheen finishes that tend to hold up better in higher traffic areas such as hallways. If you want just a hint of sheen in say a bedroom, living room, or dining room, eggshell is a great choice. Or for a slightly shinier finish, you could go with a satin. Many people like using satin in kids rooms because it's easy to clean. Satin can also be a good bet if you prefer a relatively low sheen on doors, windows, or trim or on walls in a utility room, kitchen, or bathroom where moisture resistance is important. Semi-gloss is a popular choice for doors, windows, trim, and cabinets. It's also great for high traffic, high humidity areas that need a lot of cleaning such as kitchens and bathrooms because it's very moisture resistant and you can scrub it. Gloss paints then are the most reflective and most durable. Gloss finishes can be so shiny that they almost resemble plastic. They're mainly used for windows, doors, cabinets, and trim, although you could use them on walls if a very shiny finish is what you're after. While thorough surface preparation is important to get the best results with any paint project, it's critical when using higher gloss finishes because they draw attention to imperfections. If you're considering a faux finishing project, you can vary sheens as well as colors to achieve different effects. For instance, if you're using two paint colors, you might use a flat finish for the bottom color and a semi-gloss for the top. Whether you're faux finishing or not, to get an idea of how different colors and sheens might look in an area you want to paint, you may want to test them on pieces of scrap wallboard. Different light levels and color temperatures can have a big influence on how colors appear, so it's helpful to evaluate your samples under a variety of lighting conditions and at different times of day. These tips will help you pick out just the right sheen or sheens for your next paint project. Remember, to get the best results, always follow the paint manufacturer's recommendations and application instructions. I'm Tony, and I'll see you next time.